some of the milling choices next and it's absolutely bucketing down the rain between these last two races and the top one is black rain molly it's uh, for business wars alex cherry fox norton ghost zapper that's john morgan st david's day is graham clutterbuck treasure gate for jim murray westminster abbey for paul rhodes a visper for john morgan extreme measures for joshua sutherland miss fourth alex cherry orange boom day darren thompson part of the plan paul rhodes and the dark lord joshua sutherland so let's hope this is just a brief shower and away they go it's a little bit more than a shower though i think at the moment it's torrential as the two morgan greys take the lead and i think we could be seeing one of those races that stu's been talking about recently where the leaders go off so quick that it turns it into a procession as much as a race but it's fox norton and a whisper fox norton in the red cap a whisper in the yellow and about four lengths clear of business walls in second as they come to the first of the 14 fences in this two and a half mile chase and fox norton in the lead from a vispa second and business wars is back in third as they take the second the two joshua sutherland horses together the dark lord and extreme measures st david's days just after that one and then almost five in a line at the back as they take the next and it's almost difficult to pick them out through the rain at the moment luckily we have big big screen to watch on and Fox Norton on the outside of a Vispa. Six lengths back then to Business Wars in second as they take the fourth. And slow jump at the back by Black Rain. Aptly named. Although that rain does look white rather than black, but it's definitely rain. And it's coming down thick and fast. And Fox Norton is in the lead on the outside of a Vispa as they take the fifth. All safely over that one as well. Two leaders then, the Greys from the John Morgan stable, the rat six lengths clear of Alex Cherry's business walls in second. Then the Dark Lord, the first of the Sutherland horses, is next, then St. David's Day, and then Treasure Gate as they take the sixth. And as something's gone there, there's a thought of business walls has gone, so that's one of Alex's head. He's still got Miss Fourth in there, who isn't quite fourth at the moment, she's sixth. And Black Rain doesn't like the rain, it would appear, because he's struggling just a little bit at the back as they come past the screen take this seventh fence that'll be the last next time round I've got one more circuit to go there's the winning post just a bit of the chair in the front of the screen as I take this left hand turn now and race past that other stand there and away and the back straight uh, Fox Norton a Vispa this beauty in the lead five or six lengths clear off St David's Day has gone third then the Dark Lord then Treasure Gate in comes Orange Boom Day and part of the plan trying to get into it. Miss Fourth is next in Westminster Abbey. Extreme measures and finally Black Rain. It's just the back marker. Down towards the eighth end with just a little more than a mile to go as we see them racing away from us. Lose sight of them in the downpour. Whisper and Fox Norton matching strides in the lead. Towards fence eight. that one they go there's another fall there something's gone the dark lord's gone so the dark lord is the second departee josh sutherland still got another one in there extreme measures i think yep there you go over that one and the rest of them are safely over the 10th with fox norton in the lead then a vispa second is this is the 10th that was the ninth over that one they go and fox norton on the outside of a vispa treasure gates moved into third Making a forward move there is part of the plan. They take another left hand turn. And over the 11th they go and they're on their way towards home now. And the Jim Murray horse treasure gate might have just given away his chance there. But it's Fox Norton from a Vispa being chased by part of the plan. Extreme Medicine Westminster Abbey are trying to get into it, probably between these. Although Treasure Gate is trying to get going again, they've got only three furlongs still to race. And Fox Norton goes for home over to third last. Fox Norton has now quickly gone four lengths clear of his stable companion, a Vispa. And Fox Norton, four or five clear. Now Vispa is trying to fight back. They're well clear of the roads pair. Part of the plan. And Westminster Abbey, Extreme Measures is trying to run on. They come down towards the second last. Over it they go. And a Vispa 
Vispers now taking the lead. A Visper from Fox Norton. Big gap back to part of the plan. Forget the rest. It's a Visper and Fox Norton. One of these two's going to win it by a four. Down towards the final fence they go then. And it's a Visper who's two rents clear of stable companion Fox Norton. Up towards the final fence he comes. A Visper gets over it nicely. Fox Norton over it in second. Part of the plan over it third. But this is a procession up towards the line. And a Visper takes it comfortably by a good four or five lengths to Fox Norton second. Then part of the plan third. Westminster Abbey fourth at Extreme Measures. Orange Boom Day Treasure Gate. Miss fourth was the last one to finish. Black Rain finally overtaking something. David's Day was an unseated rider at the third last. And it's a 1-2 for John Morgan, a Vispa beating Fox Norton, and it's a 3-4 for Paul Rhodes with part of the plan third and Westminster Abbey fourth, and extreme measures for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.